To begin modeling round HVAC duct, go back into the model space. Select the layers icon from the toolbar. In the window, you will see that duct is active. Click OK to exit the window. Now, click the orthographic icon and then the top view icon. Now we will locate the area we want to model. In this example, the ductwork is in the lower area of our scan. Now, select View from the main toolbar. Then choose Set Limit Box by Cursor. Go to the center of the model, and then expand the box around the perimeter. Select the Single Pick tool, and isolate the area further by moving the orange grips. Now, click the top view and then the perspective mode icon. Move into the model to locate the duct. Select the left view icon and then choose the orthographic mode. Select the single pick function to further isolate the modeling area. Return to the single pick function to expand the limit box in order to fully expose the duct. Now click the perspective mode icon and zoom in to the area to be modeled. Select the single pick icon again and place a pick on the duct. Right mouse click and select Region Grow, then Cylinder. This window shows us that Cyclone ran through a sampling of the picked area and determined that 20% of a curved surface will enable the software to recognize the area as a cylinder. We can also see that Cyclone recognized 2,603 points. We need to eliminate some of the surface points that appeared on the same plane in order to work within the cylinder area. To remove the unwanted surface points, we simply reduce the region size. We can now click OK to exit the window. Now we can see that Cyclone has generated a cylinder in the area. Select the single pick icon to adjust the cylinder to the correct length. Now we will repeat this process on the other part of the duct. Select the single pick icon and place a pick on the other area of the duct. Right mouse click, choose Region Grow, then Cylinder. In this window, Use the cursor to reduce the points in the region size area until the points are isolated to the area where we want to place a pipe. Cyclone will go to work forming a cylinder from the point clouds. At this point, it is important to check that both cylinders are the same diameter. Choose the first cylinder that we created. From the main toolbar, select Edit Object and then highlight the Edit Properties option. In the window, we can see that the diameter is 0.304 meters. Return to the toolbar and select the Multi-Pick icon. Now, choose the second cylinder. In the Object Properties window, we can see that the pipes are the same diameter. Close the window and hit the spacebar to clear out the section. Now, select the single pick icon in order to create another cylinder. Place a pick on the area to be modeled.
right mouse click and highlight Region Grow and then Cylinder. Again, we need to reduce the points to a smaller area. Click OK to exit the window. We now have another cylinder. Highlight the new cylinder with a click, and then select Edit Object from the main toolbar. Toggle down and choose Edit Properties. In this example, we do not have enough points to create the correct diameter for this new cylinder. Click on the diameter area in the window and enter the correct diameter, 0.304 meters. Click Apply before closing the window. Next, we will connect the pipes. Select the Layers icon, then choose Selectable Visible. Instead of disabling the points completely, we can simply uncheck the point cloud box to render the point clouds unselectable. Click OK to exit this window. Press the spacebar to clear the area. Now click on the multi-pick mode icon and place a pick on the end of each cylinder that we would like to connect. Right mouse click and highlight piping connectors then choose Elbow Connectors. We can leave the default as 1.5. Simply click OK to generate the elbow. Now that the elbow is in place, we can see that it is too large. So select Edit and then Undo. Now hit the spacebar to clear the area.